Hello, it's Victoria from Coastal Themes, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you super quickly how to make an overlapping card effect on scroll on Framer. So you can see on this website here, when you get to this section, this first card sticks, and then the subsequent cards scroll over. And then it continues scrolling the rest of the page as normal. I also have a little hover effect on these cards, and I will also show you how to do that. So I'm going to jump over into this page. I'm going to duplicate it. And the first thing you need to know about sticky overlapping cards and scrolling is that the container that the cards are in need to have overflow set to visible. So you can see here this container in my layers panel is the stack which contains these cards. The overflow is set to visible. The container that that is in is also set to visible. So just setting both of them to visible is super helpful just to make sure that it will definitely work when you start previewing the project. So both containers set to visible and overflow set to visible. And then we've got these cards. So make your cards as you normally would. These are just normal stacks. I've got sections inside, an image fill, however you would normally make your card. And then on each card, you will have an option to set the positioning of the card. So normally in a regular scenario, it would be set to relative and relative just allows you to scroll as normal. So anything else you'd click on is relative. Obviously in our previous videos, we've gone over relative versus absolute. But now we are looking at sticky and we're not using sticky just for a sticky header. We're using it for these cards. So we've got sticky and you're going to end up setting every card to have position sticky. So you can go ahead and do that. And then this number here, which says top, is basically the offset from the top of the screen. And that is where this card is going to begin sticking from. So if I make it zero and we hit preview the card is going to stick at the very top of the screen, like so. So it takes it until it gets here to start sticking. And then my other cards are set to 240, 280 pixels from the top, so you can see they're sticking a little bit further down. So we don't want that because we do want a margin from the top. I specifically want a margin because when the user scrolls up, the header navigation comes back into view on this particular side. So if I had this stuck here and then I hovered up a bit, it would overlap and it just isn't the vibe I want. I want the cards to be below my header nav. So clicking on this card again, I'm going to adjust this to 200. And then either the subsequent cards, so in this case, the second and the third card can overlap exactly, in which case I would also make their offset from the top 200 pixels. And that means they will perfectly overlap over each other. So you can see here, once one comes over each another, then I can't see the one behind it. But it is also nice to give them a little bit of an offset, like of 10 pixels or so. So now I've got this one is stuck at 200, this one's 210, and this one's 220. And then we're going to scroll down and you'll see that there's going to be a 10 pixel gap. So 200. 210, I can see the card behind it, and 220, and obviously it's the end of the scroll, so I can continue scrolling. So that is how you make sticky overlapping cards on Framer. It's super easy, super simple, and I'm going to show you quickly how to add a cute little hover effect. So by clicking on the card, we're going to apply this to all of them. You click on effects and you click hover. And obviously you can make it so they enlarge or whatever you'd like. I'm going to leave the scale as the same. And then you can rotate them. You can skew them. I like to rotate it. One is a bit too much, like 0 0.2 is cute. And then I'm going to stagger them. So hover, scale to 1, minus 0 0.2, and that will get it the other way, and then finally, the last card, we will make 0 
and then you'll see I can stack them and then I've got this cute little shake and it just gives it a little bit of movement you can also let them kind of be um, rotated from the beginning so that, me that means you're kind of when you're hovering on them you're rotating them in the other direction and then they will stack a little bit staggered so if I make this zero point minus zero point two on the first one I'm doing the opposite so zero point two on the second and minus zero point two on the third and then you will see that now they're kind of staggered like this and then when I hover, they kind of shake in the other direction. So they look like real cards, which is so, so cute. Obviously, it depends on the vibe of your website, but I think this is super nice uh, just to give it a little bit of movement. And yeah, that is it. That is how you make sticky overlapping cards on Framer. So let me know what you think. Let me know what else you've done with sticky overlapping cards. If you've done in any, any other ways, I'm also working on something that allows the headlines to be more visible and this is kind of in progress and gonna add shadows and make it more of a like a corporate look rather than a cutesy little shake look so yeah that's everything from me today and if you have any questions drop them in the comments below bye